Hello, my name is Bethany. I'm a naturalist at Tamarack Nature Center and I'm also a storyteller. I found at least three different versions of today's story. One that was Mongolian, one Jewish, and one British. My version is kind of a mix-up of the three with a little bit of extra Minnesotan thrown in. Every year, all of the flying creatures would meet up at Eagle's Nest for their annual meeting. Dragonfly would zoom in and Bee and wasp would be there, gnat, bat would flap in, even flying squirrel would clamber up to the nest, swallow would swoop in, and eagle would soar in. This year, eagle had a question. Eagle wanted to know. After a long winter of eating whatever was available, eagle wanted to know what the tastiest creature was. And all of the other flying creatures looked at each other and those that had shoulders shrugged. Wasn't that interesting a question to them? Except for Mosquito. Mosquito raised one of her six legs and said, pick me, pick me, pick me. I've always wanted to travel. All of the other Flying creatures nodded and Eagle said, okay, next year come back and tell us which creature is the tastiest. Mosquito was so excited to have that task to travel to bite as many creatures as she possibly could that she headed right off and straight to a bear. Now, Bear was a challenge to bite. She had to burrow and dig through all of that thick fur, and when she got a bite, eh, tasted okay. She zzzed over to Turtle and bit his, well, she tried to bite his shell, and she had to let her mouth heal for a week. Turtle's shell was hard, and it hurt to try to bite Turtle. She buzzed from creature to creature to creature all over the world for an entire year, trying to figure out which creature was the tastiest. During that year, Swallow, who had also been at the meeting, found an excellent place to make her home. A human family had been gardening, they'd been watering, and she found some mud in the garden and tucked it up near their roof and made a little cup-shaped nest and moved right in. It was a perfect place to raise her chicks. Every day she would swoop and swoop and swoop and chitter and chatter and eat the bugs that lived in the garden. The humans liked having her around. They loved watching her swooping, beautiful flights, and they didn't mind having a few less bugs around. Now, Swallow loved the snacks. She loved the safety of her house, but she also really enjoyed watching the humans. She laughed the day they brought home some fish to grill. She'd seen Heron eating fish just the other day. How silly that humans and herons would eat the same thing. She liked watching the kids play as she swooped over them. But she noticed that sometimes they were, they were a bit itchy. They had red welts on them and she knew that Mosquito had been snacking on them. When the year was up, Everyone went back up to Eagle's Nest, dragonfly zooming in, wasp and gnat and bee, flying squirrel climbing to the top, bat flapping in, and Mosquito was ready to make her announcement. She had found the tastiest creature, and Swallow knew what she was going to say. She remembered those red itchy bumps on the humans, and she worried what would happen to her friends, the humans, if Mosquito told all of these creatures that humans were the tastiest. Swallow was trying to figure out what to do when Mosquito stepped up to say, I have discovered the tastiest creature in the world, and the tastiest creature is Swallow swooped in and bit off Mosquito's tongue.
So what Mosquito actually said was, the tastiest creature is... Eagle said, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Mosquito. I didn't quite understand that. And Swallow went, I think Mosquito, I think she's got a sore throat. I'm sure what she was going to say was that fish are the tastiest creatures in the world. After all, humans and herons both eat them. Eagle nodded and flew off to catch some fish for supper. Mosquito tried to protest and made only a buzz and zoomed off. Swallow swooped back to her nest near the roof of the human's house. Ever since that year's meeting, Mosquito has just <laughs> Eagle, well, their favorite snack has been fish. But they'll eat other stuff if it's around. They'll eat snakes or rabbits or things that they find already dead. Mosquito is around biting humans and making us itch. And Swallow still moves in to the eaves of our houses up near the roofs, makes those beautiful nests, chitters to her young, makes the beautiful swooping flights and eats absolutely as many mosquitoes as she can find to help out her friends, the humans. And when you hear her chittering up in her nest, talking to her chicks, she's telling them this story. Thank you for joining us for a story today. I hope that you enjoy going out and exploring, looking for animals that float or fly or glide, looking for all sorts of creatures, enjoying nature, and not encountering too many mosquitoes.